According to the World Health Organization, Africa continues to carry by far the highest share of the global malaria burden. In 2021, the continent was home to about 95% of all malaria cases and 96% of deaths. Worryingly, children under five years of age accounted for about 80% of all malaria deaths in Africa since 2019. Now, Ghana, Kenya, and Malawi have been delivering the malaria vaccine through the Malaria Vaccine Implementation Program coordinated by World Health Organization and funded by Gavin, the Vaccine Alliance. I'm here in Busia County, one of Kenya's malaria hotspots. In a special ward of a referral hospital just for malaria patients who are mostly children under five years. For their parents, their faces of uncertainty tell it all. They say despite the introduction of vaccines, there are still many children dying from malaria. Many will admit that they let their gut down, however, thinking the vaccinations would work. But that hasn't always been the case. Experts say parents do not fully understand how to properly protect their children. The biggest problem that we've had in Kenya and in Africa is lack of awareness. People refuse to go to Black Nessa because they have no idea what we are talking about. They have their beliefs about vaccines, maybe from other quarters, but uh, people are not taking enough time to, to, to explain and make that awareness. According to the World Health Organization, to reach its full potential, the malaria vaccine known as RTSS requires a four-dose regimen. But many parents, for whatever reason, are not completing the program. And anyway, even if they do vaccinate the children, they are neglecting to observe other important preventive measures. It is the vaccine in combination with uh, uh, some of the other tools uh, that have been in play. Uh, and that uh, takes us to uh, a, a much higher and better level uh, of protection uh, of, uh, of communities. Uh, it is important to note that uh, uh, even with the best tools, uh, they always remain uh, a segment of the population uh, that is not entirely protected. On top of the vaccination drive to reduce the malaria mortality rate, vector control has now been integrated to reduce the number of deaths. Uh, we are having a program like um, intermittent uh, treatment for malaria uh, prophylaxis for pregnant women. So we are giving them the FANSIDA yeah, uh, from the second trimester all the way. Yeah. So we are giving them this to prevent malaria and the severe effects. Uh, we are doing... Uh, spraying of the houses to prevent malaria. 100% efficacy has not been achieved yet, but the WHO and Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance, are urging countries to continue with programs that create awareness about prevention measures people can take. The vaccine uh, never claimed that uh, it will stop deaths uh, 100%. Uh, it said, and the science tells us that uh, the severity of the malaria cases uh, will be reduced and uh, there will be a number of deaths uh, per uh, certain ratios that uh, will also be averted. Uh, and I think that's what the science and uh, the numbers are telling us. Uh, when you think about the fact that, uh, uh, you know, a significant number of children are lost uh, in a year, uh, this is making a dent uh, on that number. And every single life that uh, is uh, not, not lost is a gain uh, for us. According to the World Health Organization, malaria remains a primary cause of childhood illness and death in sub-Saharan Africa. More than 260,000 African children under the age of five die from malaria annually. But efforts continue to get these numbers as low as possible, and the dream of eradicating malaria can be realized. Nick Mudimba, CGTN, Busia County, Kenya.